Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Super Mario Odyssey. We're going to play through the first hour or so through the game, just the beginning part. If you guys want to catch more, follow me on twitch.tv slash faulty, link in the description down below. I'm going to be streaming a lot more of the game from the start, we're going to do some post game, and if you guys want to check out more videos, check out the channel because we're going to have some easter eggs, some boss guides, all that good stuff. With that said, let's jump right into it. And this is how we are introduced to Cappy, and welcome to the Cap Kingdom, which looks really cool, man. I, li I do like this kingdom, but we can't really do much here at the start of the game. <laughs> Quick, after him! So Cap Kingdom is basically just tutorial, pretty much, just showing you how you play the game, all the controls, all that good stuff. Ooh. It's funny, like this area here, You'll come back here getting all the uh, the stuff you need, kind of post-game. Start the game, don't really, don't really do much. Just figuring out how to play. Yeah, Cappy is now our companion. And Cappy is super fun to use. I still haven't fully mastered Cappy. There's a few things I, I really want to get better at with him. But he is so fun to use. Right. Let's just get a few coins at the start of the game. Like I said, there's not really much we can do here. There's a few secret areas. But then the most we can get is coins, which isn't the worst thing in the world, because we can buy some new outfits in a little bit, so maybe getting a few coins now is quite good. You can knock these posters down. I'll show you guys something really cool. 
there's a, I think there's a way to probably go further, but you can do like a really far long jump. So if you guys can go, so you go, jump, throw cap. Nope, not, not high enough. So jump, throw cap. Ah, oh, okay. You can dive and jump onto the cap. It's kind of hard to do. I haven't mastered it, like I said, but it's really fun. All the stuff you can do. You can jump down right here. There's a few posters we can hit, and there should be a secret area. There you go. With more coins. There it is. Cool. Alright. So we don't need too many coins. So when we head to the next kingdom, we're going to get a few uh, power moons as well. Oh, quick. There you go. Get the harpies. Woo! More coins. Alright, up we go. Nice work, thank you very much. And got some yellow gumbas. You can't take control of yellow gumbas, but the uh, original ones, you can take control of them. In case you were wondering. Alright, let's go through here, because this is where we get our first transformation. And it's a frog! <laughs> oh, the cutscene is absolutely hilarious. Captured a frog, yeah. And frogs can do a really high jump and get you places you can't get in Mario. I kind of wish that during the game there was more little cutscenes like that, because there isn't many awesome little cutscenes on the transformation. It's just once you, you know, do the first takeover, it's just quite simple. Just gonna jump on all these guys. Woo! Let's get for all the rings. Sometimes in this game that I felt like a bit like Sonic, going for the rings, and I'll show you something you can do as well, which is very Sonic-like, and it's kind of cool. Oh. oh, missed a few rings. Let's get a few of these. In case you guys are wondering how many kingdoms there are, and uh, how many power moons there are, there's quite a few kingdoms, and power moon medals, I think there's about 560. There is a lot. Yeah, watch this. Woo! Rolly! Oh. There you go, you can just jump like that. I think you can only do it once though. But you can get pretty far, you can get places like you shouldn't be able to get to doing that. Right, let's get the checkpoint. There you go, so you gotta hold on to uh, Y. Alright, so you gotta fight these four like rabbits throughout the whole game. Can't they, uh, mini sub boss? They are very easy to beat. They're pretty much the same every time you battle them. I think this time, the first time's gonna be a little bit easy because, you know, it's obviously a tutorial shooting the first boss. Because when you fight my later stages, he stacks his health up super high. 
You were hitting three times usually. Alright, let's get out of here. To the next kingdom! Which is one of my favourite kingdoms as well. I'm not going to spoil why, why, but just wait and see. Alright, the Cascade Kingdom. So in every level as well you get some purple coins, which are used, um, you can use the purple coins in the shop. There's two different shops, one that takes yellow coins, one that takes purple coins. So the good idea to try and get both. And usually the purple coins, the, uh, the clothes you can get for the purple coins are exclusive to each kingdom. So um, it's probably a good idea to, if you find something you like in one kingdom from the purple store, go hunting for some coins. Which I'm doing right now, just get a few. And the store isn't open just yet. And let's get our first power moon, shall we? We're just gonna charge up and let go. Bam! Get our first ever power moon. You can see our ship as well. A little bit rusty right now. This is the boss we need to beat to get the uh, moon medals. What a lucky break. It is, isn't it? So there's loads of secrets everywhere. Like, the stages don't look that big, but there are so many power moons to get each level. So I don't think it's going to be open right now, but I wonder if we can just see the frame. When we unlock the stage, we can come here and the picture frame will be open, go through there, get to a um, certain area you can't get to on a different level, and you can get a power moon from there. And there is more around here, there you go. Just gonna jump down. Got 15 out of 50 already. So the problem with the game as well is that once you like get all the power moons, you think, oh, I've got them all. And then you beat the boss and there's more to get. And then post-game, there's even more to get. <laughs> it's a lot to do in this game, a lot. Now we start collecting. Okay, this is where the game really starts to open up and you get a lot of fun. Let's just break some blocks. Whoop. Nice. And get some couple ones real quick. Anything down there? No. I don't think there's a power moon up here, but there could be. No, just a coin. Oh, almost made it. Almost made it. Those chain chomps, we're not gonna, not gonna mess with them right now. Because we're gonna get a new transformation, which is... A dinosaur! 
Yeah, this is so cool. He's not going to wake up right now. Well, should we like sneak a cheeky little uh, picture with him? Let's try to try zoom in. Hey, a nice little picture, dinosaur. Get a nice little filter. There you go, and picture. Yeah. The dinosaur is one of my favorite things doing this game. It's so good. Just gonna break through a few things. Ooh. So a little dash real quick. And they think they can uh take me on. I don't think so. But we're not done just yet. I want to take out a lot more. Whoa, big jump. <laughs> we can go back and uh, break a few more things. That should be a pipe. There, there's usually a pipe. Oh, I think it's a bit later on. I'm just going to break, break it now. Oh, quick, get it. Got the money. I think we've got to restore the ship first and then we can do more things. So let's just... Uh, Pop out the dinosaur for now. And get that power moon. Am I still alive? Out the way, dude. Jump through the rocks. Come on, let's go this way, but I don't think it's open just yet. No, the rock's in the way. Come back a bit later on, though. It's probably best to explore after you've done a lot of things, because uh, again, that rock down there blocking some doors. If it wants to be the boss, it's all fine. You can come back and get a lot more things. Oops. I think we should break this as well, because we can get some more stuff. I think I might probably go and get the dinosaur back, just to take on the big chain chomp as well. He wants to start a fight. Oops. Ah! Oops. Now we can bring the dinosaur up there, it's no problem. Oh, nope, don't want to battle. I'm just sleeping. Just when like, you get control of it, that scream is so cool. Can we break the door now, or is that... No, I can't break it, I'll wait. Out the way, people! Anything there? Nope. Okay. Well, there might be. We'll break this. Nothing there, though. Some purple coins right there. Let's grab them. It's got 33 out of 50 already. Oh, I think we. Oh, we need to actually need Chim Chomp to uh, break the wall there. I think we need him to respawn real quick for us. You know, I think the dinosaur will do. There you go. Dinosaur is just as good. Now, this is so sweet. There's a lot of this in the game. A lot of the old retro, like Mario. Not going to spoil too much, but when you get to the um, New York City, there is a really awesome awesome bit just I'll wait for you guys to experience that for yourself because it's so good oh. I think if we go over might be able to get something does that take us out no yeah power moon Woo. and the waterfall Grab that. And quickly control and knock you into that. Thanks, boys. Appreciate it. See you later, though. And there's the boss. Hmm. 
Why we can't let that happen. Alright, let's take control of the chain chomp. Nice gold one. And flick right in the face. Whew. So we can grab some of these coins. Whoa, that was close. And she tries grabbing you like, nope, ain't gonna touch me, boy. And pow. It's kinda hard to grab all the coins there before she hits you. Ah! Oh. Okay, it's fine. Nope, miss me. And this should do it. And this gives you a cluster of three, which is usually what you get from every boss. So you've done it. And now we've got a uh, multi-moon. We put all the uh, power moons into the ship. The Odyssey is restored. We can start traveling to other kingdoms now. But we're not going to head to the Sand Kingdom just yet because we're going to stick in the uh, Cascade Kingdom because there's a lot more we can do now. A lot more, like there's a Power Moon just chilling there. You can go and grab that. Just go and grab these and yo, easy peasy. There's just like so much more you can just get. Right, if I can remember where most of this stuff is though, that would be nice. If you talk to, well, if you throw your hat on these guys, they usually open up like a platform. Which is like a time platform to try and get to a. Uh... Oh. oh damn it! No! 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 Not gonna do it! Not gonna do it! Yeah, I messed up. Basically, it's like a little platform you gotta do, and you don't have your uh, use of your hat, so jumping is a little bit tougher. I shouldn't have been tough. I just I messed up bad. I tried showing off a little bit, and it did not go well. <laughs> I think last time I used to do this went. Like that, there you go. Time a challenge one. Alright, let's do a lot more things. See, I'm pretty sure the rubble might have came back. No, it's not. There they go, the pipe. I told you guys there should be a pipe spawning. There it is. And we can just get a load of uh, load of power moons. Gotta get the checkpoint. You can find the checkpoints in this game as well. You can just like fast travel. So if I want to go up here, I can just go up here. You can walk wherever you want, which is great. Because I kind of fancy actually warping just up here. We can go down there, you got the doors behind there now. 
But I'm going to quickly go to the top. And do the top stuff. There's more time trials up there as well. We might have to leave this place and come back for the um, the shops to open. Yeah, I walked to the wrong um, checkpoint. No problem though. Alright, so we throw that on you. Nice easy platform. Right, you might notice that little cube down there. This thing down here. You'll notice one of these in every single kingdom. Don't worry about it right now. We cannot do anything with these until we defeat Bowser and rescue Peach. This is that's post-game stuff. Basically, all that's gonna happen is once you beat Bowser, you come back to the kingdoms, you hit that, and then you unlock more things to just um, be able to find some more power moons. That's all it is basically. So don't worry about them right now. Because I know I was trying to figure it out for a long time. And the moment I uh, finished the game, I was like, oh, oh god. That's what they do. You can see how fast you can just get so many power moons, and you think, oh, this game's going to be easy to collect them? No, no, it's, it's, it's not, it's not. <laughs> it's the first level, and it's, it's easy to find loads. I got, I got a little bit, I was like, okay. This game's going to be so fun to get loads of them. I can get them really quick, and then future levels, I was like, I can't, I can't find them. They're really hard to get. Get harder and harder. All right, now we'll go back around this way, and the door should be open for us. There you go, pipe now. Remember how last time there was a rock in the way? Oh, I remember this. So all we have to do, take control of this, we got to knock our one into the other one, and get into the hole. Okie dokie. And they get harder and harder, so we need to just like, not get an angle. Nice. I think the next one's pretty difficult. It took me a couple of tries when I first did it. Okay, so can I hit that there? Oh, got it, first go. That one before took me a couple of tries. And we get a power moon! Nice shot with the chain chump. Ba 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 <laughs> Love the music in this game. So one thing I actually do want to check is that once when I first played this game, after the uh, the Cap Kingdom, I never went back there. And I want to see if we can get some power moons now that we've got the ship ready, because I I kind of assume that will be post game. Once you are uh, once you once you get to unlock uh, post game, that's when you can start going back and earn power moons because of the um, the whole cube thing. I want to see if you can get some more just before then. Oh god, I don't think you got on the little platform me. <laughs> okay then. Okay, so let's hit that. And get out the way. Right, if I remember correctly, we can go above this. And we're gonna take a little thing up here. There you go. Oh, that's all it did. Could have saw that something else up there. Is that it? Oh, I mean, that was it. I thought there was more to that. It's definitely more over here, though. So we can just jump down here. Alright, what we need to do is just. I'll wait for you to come out. Don't want to risk killing you. There you go, and we go through here, and get a nice power moon, 
See, not everything is it is as it seems in this game. Just gotta explore as much as you can. If you can go somewhere, try and go there. Oh god. Because you think, uh... Because there's likely to be... Something hiding. And we go through here. Alright, for this one though. Yeah, this is the one I remember. Okay. So this one's kind of hard to do. What you need to do is just jump. Ah, oh, I missed it. Okay, it's fine. Do you don't want to go too high? Cause I'm pretty sure you'll die. Just need to try and angle it up. Ah, oh, I just missed. We want to get up there because I think there's another power moon. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> It's a lot harder than it looks, you can't see when it's going to come. And I got it, there you go. Go all the way around. Oh, I'll get some purple coins. Still good, 10 more to go though. Ooh. Yeah, just trying to think where else we can go. And there's a lot more. And also, you see these around the uh, the world. Just hit them with your hat. And you get some coins, you get some hearts. Get a bunch of cool things. Right, I'm going to quickly go back this way. So I think... There might be something around here. Nothing below. I always check below the edges as well, because sometimes you can find some stuff. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly walk back to the Odyssey, go to the Cap Kingdom, see what we can do there, and if not, we'll just... Um, come back here, buy some outfits, we might head to the Sand Kingdom or something. But I'm pretty sure when I first left here in the game, when I first played it, I, I left with like 21 or 22. I thought I got like every single secret here, which was really cool. No, you can't go back there, I guess that's like pretty post-game then. Alright, Sand Kingdom. We don't need to know how to use the action guide. So basically every time you travel to the next kingdom, basically uh, Cappy will give you some useful advice on how to use some certain skills in that. But let's head to the Sand Kingdom. I want to spend some money, get some uh, new outfits. Also you might notice like Mario's hat changed. Cappy went to like a white captain's hat. And that is going to be basically, we've got that hat now, we can use it. If we want to change back to the, um, the normal red hat, just go back into the Odyssey and you can 
You can change your hat. Because I don't think it looks very good. If we got like a white outfit with it, then yeah, maybe. I don't think it's uh, very nice. So again, just in case you're wondering, the purple coins we got in the, you know, the first kingdom don't count towards here, so we can't use them to buy any of the, uh, anything in the shop, unfortunately. Alright, let's see what we can buy in here. Don't know what we're going to have unlocked, because we haven't got any many power moons, but usually every store sells a power moon for 100 as well. So you can buy that. Ooh. First thing I bought was the um, the boxes for a thousand. <laughs> yep, I bought the boxes and I played half the game in my boxes. So what do you sell? I think you sell these sombrero, right? Yeah. Oh, like, I want to get the cowboy stuff to be honest. It's kind of cool, but that's going to cost 45 coins. Better start collecting, I guess. Got a ways to go. But there are so many like coins just hidden everywhere around here. And also, when you um, oh, when you do certain things, sometimes the uh, the level will change a little bit. I don't think it's gonna matter right now. Oh, it's a pound me right there. I actually don't think. I, oh, there you go. I don't think I ever got this power moon in my normal playthrough. Now I think about it, I might have got it. I just noticed that right now. Because <laughs> the first thing I did when I played the uh, played this game is I went, I think, over here. Yeah, I went this way. And I went exploring. Oh, you see the uh, little shining birds? There's a lot of animals in the game. You just gotta touch them, and once you touch them, you'll get the uh, power moon. Right, what we wanna do is jump up here. Musical notes, I kind of like doing this, to be fair. There's a few stages that have really good ones. The moment you touch it, hit the notes. Get all the notes in the time limit, which I'm failing right now. There you go, just about, and you get Power Moon. Okay, where is it? Ah, oh, sliding off now. It ain't gonna come back. Alright, let's get out of here. Don't really want to touch the cactus. Right. I don't think we can do some things, because it's still going to be locked till we do the first boss. But, you. Yeah, we can still do your one. You'll give us a power moon. Alright, so this challenge is, um, all you gotta do is walk in a circle, but it gets harder than it looks. You think, oh, easy, just gotta stay on the line. Well, the line's gonna disappear. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so... I think I, I, think I did alright, actually. Before. Oh, look at that. That's almost perfect. That's the best I've ever done. I got 100 points. Oh, that was pretty much spot on perfect. Nice. Whew. Very good. Well, we're just going up there, so that's not too far. But just know, like, if you want to go somewhere in the game, like, following the path isn't always the only way to go. Like, you might see the area down there. To get across that canyon, you don't have to go up there, follow, you know, go across the platforms. There are so many different ways you can you can go in this game. Can't stress that enough. Okay. I just can remember a few things, so let's get you. Right, we can get that power moon easy. I think we can get two power moons actually here. We just take control. Blow up this. Ok, 
Need it again. And we can just go over here. Get that. And the problem is trying to get back. I think I might fail this. Alright. Here we go. Pro oh, actually, I can just do this. It'll be fine. It was my hard game back, but nope. Right, we can easily get back up here, but if we jump down, there's one just yeah here. The first few levels, I think I got almost every single uh, power moon. I feel kind of bad because, like, the game's not even out yet, technically. <laughs> Time recording on this, the game's still got, like, a few more days to come out. But thanks to Nintendo for, like, giving it to me early. I'm having a lot of fun with the game. And right now, I can kind of brag, like, a few of the uh, leaderboards. I'm, like, top 10 until, you know, the game officially comes out. More people have it, but one of them, I think I'm, like, I'm second right now. Won't spoil where it is, but. It's, it's right near the end of the game, so, um, yeah. Oh, quick. Another power moon. They're just hidden everywhere in this game. Ah, oh, you went really far away, okay. I don't need no bullet bill to get me across, do it myself. I still have my armor from the very start of the game. <laughs> I need to get that one up there. But I don't think the bullet bill will last that long. I can give it a go. Oh yeah, it will. Easy, oh. Easy peasy. Oh. Oh, okay, good. Gotta go through here again, though. And there's a way to, like, skip this bit. But I don't know it right now. Alright, got more of the, uh, 2D Mario. There it is. Today. Wait, if we go down here and get some couple coins. We can actually skip quite a bit of this if we just go. I need a bit further forward. Ah! Got ya. <laughs> just. Three more to go. So yeah, to get down there, you don't actually have to go this way, you can actually get there a lot sooner. As well, you don't have to wait for the platform, you can actually jump from the, uh, like, just make it in two jumps. Land on two different platforms. I can't do the jump, but I've seen people do it, and it's just like, oh my goodness, that's, that's insane. Gotta be careful because uh, yeah, these bombs. I think it's the next set of uh, stuff. We'll set up all these bombs. Oh, I didn't want to do that because I can't. Okay, it's fine. Oh, that was bad. Can't even line that up. Or oh, not? Oh no, I did. I didn't just set up the bomb off. Oops, that's how you do it. My bad. But this one, if you hit the bomb, all the bombs are going to set each other off, like that's going to hit that, and it's going to get a lot jumpy. We can just, like, see you later. Take control of you. Alright, we are looking for 
There it is. Get the purple coins in a little bit. It's all about the moon medal. There's one. Let's see if I find the lowest down there. There it is. I don't know where it is, but found it. There is a funny uh, power moon mission we can do around here as well. Basically, you just gotta kick sheep, scare. Sh oh, almost fell in there. Scare sheep into a little area and get a power moon for it. Easy. And that opens the way up. Oh, we're coming for you, Bowser. We're coming for you. Oops. That was not what I meant to do, but. Okay, it's all good. Yeah, like, around the desert, there's a lot of things you can miss around the desert, so... If you are exploring, make sure you look everywhere, because you can miss a lot of stuff. The, uh, the multi-moon medal. Be, uh, getting there a little bit. Oh, wait. I think we can just do this, actually. There you go. <laughs> Easy one. Some of them, like, simple as that. And some of them are a lot more complex. Like post-game stuff, oh man. Some of the trials you have to do is just... Ah. Like I would not be able to record myself doing that because it's just so frustrating. There's one you got to be like perfect timing. You're just running and running. you got to get the perfect angles, perfect time for everything. It's just... Don't like it. Don't like it. Alright. Let's get over here real quick. Oh yeah, we need to go. Didn't mean to go back up. Just gotta jump over it. Then we go upside down. Oh, nope. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. So you fall down then, that's not good. Almost certain death. Did not mean to keep getting hit here. Just trying to like get the coins. I'm actually surprised I got the boxes so early on. Like looking, I, I know I, got, I went when I first played. I, I was a lot more exploring, but oops. I wonder if I can go through here. Ooh, I think I missed this before. But I got the boxes the moment I came here. Did so much exploring. I might miss that one the first time round. I'll double check. Nope, 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 ah! Alright, so we can hit that, and just hit this. And then go again. And then right at the top. Beat the boss, get the multi-moon medal. I don't think we get a multi-moon medal from this boss. I think it actually really is a boss to be fair, but we'll see. So I have all the ones to battle, she is my favourite to battle because she is super easy. Oh god, at some point she'll get pigtail as well, she'll have two bombs that throw at your ones, but... 
super easy, just like, one down. And when she does this, she can still hit her. You angle it right, like, there you go. Get a stop, like, basically you can stop her attacks, it's great. And last one. Easy. Oh, we do get a multi moon medal from being a nice. So we can go do that, but I'm pretty sure technically we can go to the next kingdom if we really want. Because we got enough Power Moon medals. So you can choose which one you do first. Out of these two, if you want my recommendation, I much prefer the Wooded Kingdom over uh, Lake Kingdom. But to be honest, I don't like these two kingdoms too much. They're probably my least favourite in the game. But, uh, yeah, i got to choose this good Wooded Kingdom. Alright, I think what we'll do actually, we'll go beat the main boss for this stage, I think. Go and do that. Oh, I forgot we can get the, uh, I think it's called Jaxi. Oh. Let's get that. So I'm going to pay like 30 coins and we can ride this dude. You don't even like um, take control of him, you just literally sit on top and just ride him. Let's go! You just smash for everything you want, it's great. Smash for the crystals as well. Well, not all of them, small ones. Down we go. Bring them with me. <laughs> Feel kind of bad bringing them with me. So I'm just your taxi, man. Alright, so to break that, I just need to hit that. Cool little tip for this area here as well is if you want to stop sliding, just take control of the Goomba. No more slidey slidey. And it's all good. Okay, and I think as well, yeah, it's got that power move, so you need to basically jump off these guys, jump onto that, and then we can stack even higher, <laughs> and then you can just get the power move really easy. And then we can slowly just take each one out like so. Oh god, nope. It's at the end, it's fine. Still stacked pretty high. Don't want to mess up. Just easier with the gumbo so you don't slide. Oh, so when they fall off the edge, I can just like, I like, see you later, dude. I got him twice with a hat. Right, you can't make it all the way with one bullet bill, I don't think. They blow up. Don't collision. Okay, good. Nice. 
nice and easy. I reckon there's like a way you can get behind that. It's a way to get up there at least. Remember the head we saw the multi moon earlier? And I said like, yeah, we're gonna get um, gonna get that later on. Well, that's gonna be now. There's a way to do this, and I forgot as well. There's a way. But you can get up there. Nothing up there but coins. But if you want to get up there, you can get up there. It's gonna be very skilled at some of the jumps. This boss, this boss is actually pretty fun to to battle. Try and punch you and nope. There you go. Take control of his hand and we're just gonna punch him punch himself in the face. Ugh, stop punching yourself. And his face gets a bit uh boxer like every time you uh, you hit him. Get him to hit the, uh, the hearts in the glass. Otherwise, we're gonna die. Ah! Oh no, I hit this. Okay, we good. There's the heart, there's the heart. Got it. And time for the last punch. There you go. Easy Morty Moon, where'd it go? Oh. We didn't have power moons to get to the next kingdom before that boss, but yeah, got a lot more done than I thought we would in like an hour. Pretty much got two kingdoms done. Not fully complete, but still got a fair amount of uh, power moons. What? 34 in an hour? Not bad. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this again. Again, if you want to watch more Mario Odyssey, check out the other videos going to be uploading, as well as follow me on Twitch tv slash faulty link in the description down below where we'll be streaming a lot more of the game probably continue this playthrough here so you guys want to see more of this playthrough we'll stream it on twitch and then we can potentially upload the uh the archives under here continue the playthrough like that and if you guys want to see some uh post game of my other save file where we have all right save quickly before i lose this save file options we have uh data management yeah load 258 out of like 560. <laughs> There's so many. It's so hard to find though at this point. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.